Hello everyone and welcome back to Cara's Tippets. I thought I'd better at some stage in the whole process show you what's been growing and just prove that I've been doing more than just sewing things. This is my yak on. You can see it's got three stems so I think that will be quite good to split. We'll see, I might just leave it as one for this year. Got some overwintered peppers here, but they're not actually doing anything at the moment. This one I think has had it, but the one down here, um, still got some green on it. Another green one. This is a purple tiger one little leaf there but it's not looking too happy at all and some more here this is the pepper that I saved from the greenhouse really late it didn't die off it's the most healthy of the lot so far and on this windowsill we've got some aphids. <laughs> On this windowsill we've got some aphids but also it's my Serrano chili which has got some new growth on it. And that's one of its babies that was in the pot with it. Quick glance at something for another video. No. Got to be careful in this room because it's a bit messy and I don't want to show you all my dirty clothing on the floor but this is where most the sowing happens the sowing no this is where most the seeds get put it's a heated propagator i think it's a stewart's one these were the peppers that i did a few days ago chili these are the chaos sown seeds that were really really old there's something growing in that one but it's not looking too healthy really and the same here tree onions I don't know what I've done with them they're not looking very healthy at all notice my scissors a little set up under here it's just a bench, but I've got this light here that I give my aubergines a little bit of light with for a couple of hours in the evening. Works quite well. I have the foil round, both to disguise the purple nature and also reflect the light back. Up here, the back with some potatoes. Those are the aquilegia I sowed in January. The aubergines. Not doing too bad. What That one was the first one that came up, so that's why that's very leggy. But I've just got the window open here to make sure it gets a nice breeze. These are my artichokes. And these are the loofah. And just some random chilli seeds there. All the windowsill spaces are used. This is my loo. There's some potatoes chitting on there. The only thing I've got in the bathroom at the moment is this. I've just moved it through and washed it because it had so many aphids on it. I don't know where my ladybirds have gone. quite healthy it was recently repotted that's my tamarillo another room another set of plants these I potted on and um, they're the Phycelis you can see they have new shoots growing looking really healthy and this is what I do with lettuce I bring from the allotment I just shove it in a pot of water 
one there is ripening. <laughs> Not doing too badly here, making sure you can't see how messy I'm keeping things at the moment. Last but not least, this is where when my partner visits, he actually works in here, but he's not here at the moment. So, my lemon tree, it needs a bit of a wash. Some bulbs at the back that need to go outside. Potatoes, experiment, I'll talk about them properly another time. And these are all the all the seeds I sowed on the anniversary of my father's death. There's the night scented stock, hollyhock, delphinium, lupin, and calendula there. They need repotting but they're looking not too bad considering the light levels. Peonies there. Potted them up. Uh, I did film it, but I don't think I've shown it. One of my guavas, look at it go. And another little chili there that's successfully overwintered. Some potatoes. Again, I'm doing another video on that. And my leeks. that's everything thank you for watching please remember to subscribe watch do stuff bye for now